Who ever heard of a breastplate being made of cloth? What kind of protection would that be? Obviously the best kind. But the Lord doesn't fight for himself. He does battle for his people in the sanctuary. Quote, he is also able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. Hebrews 7.25. The Hebrew for breastplate is shosen, and Strong describes it this way, quote, to contain or sparkle, perhaps a pocket as holding the Urim and Thummim, or rich as containing gems, end quote. Yes, all of the above. Here it is described, quote, the breastplate of judgment artistically woven according to the workmanship of the ephod of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine woven linen. It shall be doubled into a square. A span shall be its length and a span shall be its width, verses 15 and 16. As a cubit was approximately the length from the elbow to the fingertips, so the span was the distance between the thumb and the fourth finger of a spread hand, about nine inches. Here were also gems, 12 in number, but now each one different and all bearing the names of individual tribes. On the shoulder stones, it was the order of their birth, but here it was according to the order of their walk on the journey. As with our walk of faith, some were closer to the high priest's heart than others. How solemn. Though God has no favorites, he does have intimates, those who draw close to him. But just the same, everyone, jewel-like, is precious to him. Now, this cloth breastplate was made twice as long as it was wide and then folded up to make a pouch. We read, quote, you shall put in the breastplate of judgment the Urim and the Thummim, and they shall be over Aaron's heart when he goes in before the Lord. Exodus 28.30. Ah, God's will is discerned best when we are near his heart. These were likely two different objects, gems perhaps, or as some suggest, a black and white stone. When a question requiring a yes or no was asked of God, these determined the results. See Numbers 27, 21, Joshua 7, verses 14 to 18, 1 Samuel 23, 2 and 4, 2 Samuel 21, 1, Ezra 2, 63, and Nehemiah 7.65. Urim and Thummim mean lights and perfections. What a beautiful way to describe the good and acceptable and perfect will of God, Romans 12.2. His path for his people. Yes, quote, the path of the just is as the shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Proverbs 4. 18.